So today I'm going to show y'all how I bake my polymer clay in a air fryer. Um, it's actually a lot cheaper just because it uses less power, it doesn't heat up my kitchen so bad, and it makes for a really nice even bake just because it's um, an air fryer. So I'll show you. These are glass that I got off of Amazon. Uh, it's about nine bucks for three of them and I just stack them like this. So I've already put uh, some of my current work on there and I'm just going to put that on top. Lay down some more. And these are just some scrap clay size that I did. This one's got a black on the back and then a little bit of a translucent kind of tie-dye top. I'm gonna speed this up real quick. And then again, I just add another layer. So here's another sheet of glass. And we have everything. Um, I have six pieces of glass so I can do five layers and it does not change the quality at all. And then I just um, put I make sure there's a layer on top just so it keeps the bubbles out and keeps it from cracking when it's translucent and such like that. Gives it a nice smooth finish. So, And I kind of press down as I go just to even out any weirdnesses in the thickness of each piece. Okay, those are my last ones. So I've got this here. See, it's kind of a uh, clay sandwich. And then I'm just going to go put it in my oven. Alright, so excuse the shakiness here. I do not have a stand over here to use. But this is just a baking sheet I got for literally 97 cents at Walmart. And then I cut out some cardboard to fit in there to uh, keep it from burning the clay. So this is my oven here and um, I just put this here I don't put anything on top of it I don't dome vent it or anything and you can see there's just the layers of clay there and I put it in I have it on the bottom rung goes in like that close it up and then I just put it at uh, 60 minutes, I do 60 minutes twice, and then for the temp, I'm going to put it at 260, and then I just run it, and uh, once it runs out, I'll put it for another 60 minutes, so I bake, I do bake mine for, for two hours, so there's that. And then I'm just going to show you some that I've already made, as you can see, they still bend, they're super flexible, um, and they're ready to go in my shop. Here.